Do you want to know how to master the defensive battle? Hi Paddle Drivers, welcome to this second episode of our favorite series From Zero to Hero in Paddle. Today we will learn how to improve our game from the back of the court so that you can feel more comfortable when you are defending. As you can see, we are working today with two sparrings. These are my friends Sergio and Alejandro. They are slightly below my level, so we have organized this session where they will be all the time attacking. Well, Gonzalo, in this case, has to work in different speeds. When the ball comes from the guy who is uh, in the volley, it's going to, to come very fast. And that means that uh, Gonzalo has to react uh, faster. Okay guys, so in this exercise I'm hitting one ball to Sergio, one ball to Alejandro and we repeat this all over again. In this new exercise I'm hitting two balls to Alejandro, two balls to Sergio and all over again. As you can see this is still easy but this allows me to increase a little bit of the intensity. One of the good things about this kind of exercises is that the attacking opponents, the sparrings in this case, they know where I'm going to hit the ball so they can be prepared for the shot that I'm doing. Therefore I'm always in a challenging position where I'm the one that don't know where they're going to hit. In this exercise, we can see two people at the volley. In this case, Gonzalo has to work with objectives. That means with the forehand, Gonzalo has to play in parallel and with the backhand, he has to play in cross. Why? Because for a right-handed uh, guy, it's very natural to play in these directions or with these directions. If you see, with the forehand, it's very easy to play in parallel and with the backhand, it's easier to play in cross. This is a little bit more complicated and I need to be constantly focused on thinking where I'm going to hit the ball. With these exercises, we are working the different time that Gonzalo has when he is working. The other thing is to think where he has to play depending on the stroke. The second part of the exercise is to change the directions and to play it with the forehand in cross and with the backhand in parallel. Let's see. Again, quite complicated. I suggest that you guys try this exercise and let me know in the comments down below what are your thoughts on this. I promise, it's harder than it seems. My feelings doing this exercise was that it was normally more easy to hit my backhand in parallel especially when those shots hit like the single glass or the double glass it's better to play parallel however the cross court has more distance of course so you can hit a little bit harder this is something that you guys need to take into account when you are defending from the back of the court And finally, we go to a little bit more fun exercise. I have more freedom in this one. I can play the lob from time to time and I need to hit it behind the line. If I get 10 lobs behind the line, I win. Stay tuned guys because in the next episode we will reveal who is my partner for competition and we will show you the process of preparation for our first tournament. 
Okay guys, so that was all for today's video. We really hope that you enjoyed it. If it was the case, it would be great if you could like this video as well as subscribing to our channel. This really helps us. And also share this video with that friend that really needs to work on the defense.